Spinners are very versatile and can be used across classes to varying degrees. For example, we can select two spinners. We can select anything from uh, two to uh, 10 sides. So let's set it at six. And spinner B, we will also set for six. And then we click spin. They spin and the outputted number appears in the green rectangle at the top of the spinner. So in this case, five and six. So we could say to the children, add the two numbers. And then orally, children volunteer an answer, you ask one child. Or alternatively, have the children using dry white marker boards and ask them to write the answer, the sum of the two numbers, and to hold up the dry white marker board and show you the answer. And at a glance, you can see what every child has added. And you can see who has got 11 or who hasn't. So you are guaranteed 100% engagement when you have the children using dry white marker boards in tandem with them using the spinners up on the interactive whiteboard. Alternatively, we can set it for three spinners and we click spin and we ask the children, uh, what's the total of the three numbers? And again, they write it on their dry white marker boards. If you are working with children in infants in the, the first couple of years of school, you might want to set it to two spinners with a maximum on each being five and now you're controlling two add-ins to 10 so you're controlling adding to 10. If you want to go to 20 all you have to do is set it to 10 sides and if you don't select random numbers the numbers will be in sequence and again you are now adding to 20 so 9 and 7 16. As you move up through the classes, you might want to choose random numbers. And for example, you can set the random numbers, say for example, between 21 and 99. Now in this case, you spin the spinners again, and then you ask the children to add both numbers, 67 and 32. You might want to ask what's the difference between the two numbers. You might ask them to round each number to the nearest 10 or perhaps to double each number and again write the answers on the dry white marker boards and to show you or you might say to ch children what is needed to add to both numbers to make 100 so what do you need to add to 67 to bring it up to 100 what do you need to add to 32 to bring it up to 100 alternatively you might say what do you need to subtract from 67 to bring it to 50 what do you need to subtract from b to bring it to 50. The spinners present a huge number of opportunities for a teacher to engage in a dialogue of number and mathematics and calculating and problem solving with their children by using this tool up on their interactive dry white marker boards. Again, for more information on how to use the tool, just go to the info button and that outlines how you use the functions of the spinner tools and also application ideas to get you started on how you might begin to use the spinners in your classes within the school from the juniors all the way up to the seniors. An added feature of the tool is the pen tool. And again, when you click on it, it turns it on. You can select the pen color, you can use the eraser, or you can clear the full screen. So for example, if you want, you could get the black pen. And if you were doubling 67, two sevens is 14. So you could show the children how you double two sevens is 14, and that four units and one ten, two sixes is 12, and one is 13. So twice 67 is 134. So again, all that remains is for you to look at the tool, explore the tool, look at the information, ideas, and how to use the various functions. How do you integrate the spinners tool into what you are going to do in mathematics across the classes from infants to sixth class if you're in the Irish primary school setting?